Hi, my name is Istaba. In this video, we will see how count function works in Excel. There are different count functions that we are using in Excel. So let us start with a count. Here we can see that we have different formula like count, count a, count blank, count if and count ifs. So let us go one by one first by definition then after we will do it in practical in Excel also. So here count. Count says that this function counts the number of numeric entries in a list. It will ignore blanks, text, errors. Now if we will see the syntax, syntax was like count, range, there is number 1, number 2, number 3 range 2, range 3, whatever you want, you can take it in that. Now, the second one is count a. Count a is a function that counts the number of numeric and text entries in a list. It will ignore blanks only. And the syntax will work like the same, count a, range 1, range 2, range 3, range 2, n. The third one is count blank. This function counts the number of blank cells in a range and the syntax will remain the same. Just the, we will change the name count count blank in spite of count a. Now the fourth one is the count if. This function counts the number of items which match criteria set by user. Here the syntax will be different. Count if then the range comma then criteria to be matched and the last one which has started from excel 2007 onwards this is count ifs here in count ifs what we are doing we are doing we can count a particular particular criteria with multiple conditions so the count if function applies criteria to sell across multiple ranges and count the number of times all criteria are met so here we have multiple criteria. So by syntax it also shows that criteria range 1, criteria 1, criteria range 2, criteria 2 and so on. Whereas in count if we can see that there was only one criteria. So let us go in excel and we will do it in practical aspect. So now see that in excel we have data. It is date, machine and production. There are three different columns. Uh, these are the ranges. So here date is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so there are five different dates and these are machine numbers machine 1 and machine 2 and their production there are multiple entries uh, which has not been filled due to either machine was not working and or data was not properly captured so their total number of entries are 30 there are two different machine machine 1 machine 2 and there are five different dates that we have captured and we will uh, see how it works. So here we see that production data, there are some numeric values, there are some text value, there are some blank also. So now let us do it, how count works. So we will, we will write count, value 1, value 2, value 3 or range 1, range 2 range 3 whatever we want to fill we will fill if we want if we want to fill value like count value 1 value 2 value 3 then we will put it like this because it is not numeric so it don't give us any value if in a numeric form we can see that this is the value 1 this is the value 2 so it gives two numeric values 
so now we will do it in this in our format that count c o u n t count that value one value two or range one range two whatever you want okay so we wanted to know that how many exactly entries numeric entries are there in the range so this is our range one and we will put it like c2 to c31 and we will close this here we will find that there are 26 text entries 26 numerical entries now count a what is count a count a will give us value of numeric entries as well as text entries so we will now we will write count a and then after value 1 value 2 value 3 or we wanted to put range 1 so here we wrote range 1 so here, here we can see that there are 28 numeric and text entries now what we will do we will do to write count blank Here in count blank, we will do the same. There is count blank and the range. So that was our range, and we will close the parenthesis. So here we see that there are two blank entries available in the list. So let us go and check if it is correct or not. So here we see that there are. So here we see that there are 26 is the count of numeric values and we also see that we have used the formula count and we find that there were 26 entries so it is the right answer. Now we will see that including text and numeric how many count are there so it, it will give us a figure of Twenty-eight. Here you can see it is twenty-eight, and this count A is twenty-eight. So it is also the same. Now we will see that how many blanks are there. So here there are two different blanks, and we also find it by the formula. It is two. So, in the first step that we have seen that uh, we used count, count a, count blank and all of them are correct. Now, we will move on to count if. What count if says? Count if says that you can find, you can find a particular value by using a single criteria. So, we will do it the same way count if then after it asks for range so here we will try to find out that how many mac1 is being used in this uh, range so here we write that count if then a range that is the a number of values where where from we need to find that how many times it has been there and then after uh, we use the criteria that is mac1 so here we see that uh, mac1 has been in the range in 15 times for 15 times so now we will check it again here we use that mac1 mac1 has come in 15 times so this is again the right answer and we use the formula in a very correct way now the last one is count ifs Count if says that you can find the number of counts by using multiple criteria. So in this we will say that MAC1 on day 1 or day 2 whatever that is uh, we have taken this criteria as on 2nd of January. 
and we will try to find that how many times MAC1 has an entries on 2nd of January. So let us use the formula count ifs. It says that criteria range 1, then criteria 1, then after criteria range 2, then criteria 2. So let us go for the date. This is the criteria. This whole range is the criteria range 1. And what is the criteria 1? That is the date. Now, what is the criteria range 2? Criteria range 2 is this one, MAC. Then after we will put the criteria 2, that is MAC 2. So here we see that MAC 1 has come 3 times in second of the date. So now we will see the second of the date. I have MAC 2. This is MAC 1. Oh, it is the same. That is a 3 value. So we have used the formula correctly. So in this video, we have seen different functions of count. That is count, count A, count blank, count if, count is. So again, we will uh, see that count A always give us the value of numeric entries. Count A gives us value for numeric as well as text entries. Count blank gives us only the blank values. Count if gives us the entries, number of entries, number of values which has occurred in a series with a single criteria. And count is gives us the number of occurrence of a particular, particular uh, entries with multiple criteria. So this video has explained the count function. I hope you like this video and would request, would request you to subscribe my channel DataWiz on YouTube and like it on Facebook as well as so that other people can also get benefit from this video.